Hello friends, very good morning. Uh, welcome to the current affairs 2023 prelims. Uh, as you know, I have started with economy. Now I am starting the second subject that is international relations. Uh, and uh, from today there are going, I am going to make two videos. I will be continuing the economy concepts of economic survey and budget is left. I will be making it uh, regularly. And uh, there will be a regular current affairs from the other topics. So I'm starting with subject two, that is international relations. This is class number one. So before going into that, I thank Mr. Murali who has contributed uh, immensely for making these slides and uh, getting the information. So what is the index? The index is we are going to discuss in international relations, the maps, very important. There will be two questions, places in news, terms that is associated, global and regional groups, indices and miscellaneous things. This I call it as components of GS paper international relations as far as prelims is considered and I am expecting at least four questions in this prelims out of 100 from this discussion. Maybe this will be around some eight to nine videos. Please have patience to follow. It is going to give you some good result. So let's start with the most important thing that is in use for this year that is the land of Europe. So uh, Europe might be a question this year and definitely what I'm expecting is the questions might come from Black Sea, Ukraine, questions might come from Russia and there is one organization for this that is called NATO and then the seas or the lands which are surrounding here. So our first point of discussion will be on this areas guys with Europe particularly with Russia Ukraine war definitely one question either on the borders of Ukraine or members of NATO borders of Black Sea and the associated issues might be asked so let's start discussing about what exactly is this so let's have a look at Black Sea first thing what are the countries which are surrounding the Black Sea Black Sea is getting surrounded or it is surrounded by the following Turkey Georgia Russia Ukraine Romania Bulgaria Right? G U R R Gur T B. Right. So there will be some other quotes. You can remember in your quote in your same quotes. But this is how I remembered that Gur T B. So this is one important question that they can ask for prelims. I'll show you some previous year questions how they are asking. But for now, this is the first thing that you have to remember: the borders of Black Sea. So the borders of Black Sea are Ukraine, Russia, Georgia, Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania. So you have to buy hard this. Black Sea is also known as Euxine Sea. Euxine Sea. Now it is pointed or it is surrounded by Pontic, Caucasus, Crimean Mountains. So Crimean Mountains are in the north, Pontic Mountains are in the south and Caucasus Mountains are on the east so this is the thing how black sea is surrounded next so here you have some strides dardanelles bosphorus marmara seas i will show you in the map this is also very important and sea of azov is important now why black sea is in news recently black sea is in news because it has anoxic water what is anoxic water water which is not having required amount of oxygen or absence of oxygen water is known as anox uh, is known as this anoxic water now look at this again black sea near turkey it is suffering from one problem and that problem is sea snot so this is sea snot they might ask this sea snot is the problem which is present recently in which country or in which sea so this is black sea now what is sea snot sea snot is also known as mucilage, a jelly like layer of slim that develops on the surface of water due to excessive pro proliferation of phytoplankton, gravely threatening the marine biome. Very, very important this year. They can ask this question. Sea snot has been found in which sea? It is found in the Sea of Marmara. Marmara Sea is suffering from this. So, Sea snot, Marmara Sea. Remember this. Next one. Again, in this area, you have Russia Ukraine conflict. So, area of Russia military control in Ukraine. 
Donbas region, Donetsk and Luhansk. So all these are present in Ukraine. They were occupied by Russia. They can ask this question. Donbas, Donetsk, Luhansk is present in Ukraine. Crimea was annexed by Russia way back in the year 2014. Now there are some other things. Maripol and Odisha. Again, these are Ukrainian things. So it is being occupied by Russia. Maripol and Odisha. Right. So the naval exercise sea bridge is conducted by NATO countries. Sea bridge is the natural exercise of NATO countries. So Turkey's sea known as Marmara is suffering from sea snot. What is sea snot? This is. Now let's have further look into this. What is the borders of Ukraine? Very important this year. Last year we expected Afghanistan borders and they asked why America has moved out of Afghanistan last year as a result Afghanistan borders were asked. Similarly this year they can ask Ukraine borders. Now have a look at Ukraine borders. Ukraine is bordered by seven countries. They are Moldova, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland, Belarus, Russia. And remember, Belarus and Russia are good friends. Right? So these are the seven things. So again I repeat, Russia, Moldova, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland and Belarus. So Belarus and Russia are good friends. They are not members of NATO. Now look at this. This is the thing that you have to remember. Now after this, in Ukraine there are some things. Crimea, this is here to the south of Ukraine. It was annexed by Russia in the year 2014. As a result, Russia was expelled from the Z8 group and now that Z8 has become Z7, right, in the year 2014. Now there is one more region that is called Donbas region. It is also occupied by pro-Russian rebels in, since 2014. This is the thing. Right. So this is the things that you have to remember as far as Ukraine is considered. Now look here. Belgorod is in Russia. Belgorod is in Russia. Look at uh, the map further. You have some seas here. Black Sea. I am discussing about this. Black Sea. Now look. There is Sea of Azov. Black Sea. Bosphorus Sea. Sorry, Black Sea, Sea of Marmara. I'll come again. Have a look at this point. Right. See here, Sea of Azov, Black Sea, Sea of Marmara. This is the sea which is suffering from sea snot and Aegean Sea. And then you have the Mediterranean Sea. Right, this is Mediterranean. Sea of Crete. Now what they can ask is, they will ask the channels which are connecting these seas. We all know a small strip of narrow water body which connects two large water bodies is known as trites, right? Strait, S-T-R-A-I-T, right? Now, Sea of Ajov and Black Sea is connected by Kirch Strait. This is very important guys, remember Kirch Strait, Ajov and Black Sea, Kirch. Black Sea and Marmara is connected by Bosphorus Strait. Marmara and Agency is collected by Dardanelles, Dardanelles, right? So there are three strikes, three seas, Sea of Ajo, Black Sea, Marmara, Agency, four seas, three strikes. First strait is Strait of Kirch, second strait is Bosphorus, third strait is Dardanelles. Then you have the so-called this one. Now look at this map, again there are some potential questions that they can ask. So Anatolia Plateau is in Turkey, Caucasus Mountains, just now I said, it is in Turkey, right? So remember this, these things that is very, very important again after this. Let's look at previous year question that they asked in similar context. So this is uh, 2022 and 2018 papers. They have asked in 2022 last year and from last year they changed. They asked how many pages are correct. That is the reason why you have to remember exactly what are the borders. Anatolia Plateau, just now I said it is in Turkey, right? Amhara is in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is in news. Last year, 
we'll discuss this sometime later but amhara is present in ethiopia cabo delgado cabo delgado is present not in spain it is present in mozambique and catalonia's plateau is present in spain right catalonia is in spain iberian peninsula you here here and catalonia is also present there itself so this is about the so called previous year question let's look again repetitive question catalonia spain this is correct crimea it is not in hungary look here hungary is present somewhere here if you look here hungary is this and then this is crimea so crimea is part of now russia not uh, hungary mindanao is present in philippines and oromia is present in ethiopia so ethiopia has amhara oromia these are the things that you have to remember as a result the answer is 1 and 3 is correct now they are changing and they are asking how many pages are correct so have an understanding of it now when it comes to russia ukraine there are two agreements that you have to remember one is minsk 1 and minsk 2 agreements so minsk 1 and minsk 2 agreements is related to the peace deal minsk 1 ukraine and russia backed the separatists and they have agreed for cease fire in the capital of belarus so it is related to belarus minsk 2 is in 2015 so it was signed mediated by france and germany so this is russia and ukraine minsk 1 and minsk 2 now there is one more thing that is called euro maidan movement euro maidan movement is the movement that was started against russia in ukraine why this was started so euro maidan means russia moving towards eurasian economic union russia led eurasian economic union they were coming together what ukraine expected is ukraine expected russia will join european union now what russia did is rather than joining in european union it has joined in the so called eurasian economic union as a result this euro maidan movement was started so minsk 1 minsk 2 euro maidan movements these are the places or these are the themes which are related they can ask these type of questions now let's look at euro maidan movement is russia going with not european union but eurasian economic union now what exactly is this eurasian economic union i already said what is an economic union economic union is one where there will be uh, not only free trade agreement but the free trade agreement will be highly interdependent there the free movement of capital uh, factors of production like land labor capital will be there same economic policies will be operating now they can ask how many members are there in this eurasian economic council there are five members right so it is a free movement of goods services capital labor harmonized and single policy of treaties and international agreements is european union economic union economic union meaning is this what are the member states armenia belarus kazakhstan kyrgyzstan russia armenia russia start here russia kazakh kyrgyz belarus armenia ye bhi okay 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 next so this might be the question so in this context recently finland has joined nato again they can ask what are nato countries now it is uh, highly impossible to remember the 31 nato countries so the best way to remember is which are not nato members in this group have a look at this so first of all let me tell you nato was the outcome that has come in the year 1945 in order to ensure military stability in europe after the second world war right this you know and the opposite of nato that russia has started is marshall plan i'm sorry warsha pact warsha pact is the one which is started opposite by russia now what exactly is nato and how many members are there in nato nato has today 31 members day before yesterday finland has joined as a result the total membership of nato is 31 now look here we cannot remember all so this is for european countries and in this there are two countries us and canada so don't forget them us and canada are members of nato canada is also a member so apart from that you have to remember which are not nato members that will be the question 
So NATO members are not there here. Switzerland, Austria is not NATO member. Switzerland, Austria is not a NATO member. Remember, not Belarus and Russia. I said Belarus is very close to Russia, hence Belarus is not a member. There is one country here called as Moldova. Moldova is not a uh, part of this. So Belarus, Switzerland, Austria, Moldova, and then you have one country here, Serbia, and there is one small country here, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina, you have this. So one, Serbia, two, Austria, Switzerland, Moldova, Belarus are not members. Now the one that you are seeing here, this one, this is Russia's extended territory. So that is Russia's territory. Now Sweden is also not a member. Now Sweden is about to join as 32nd member. That is why they have changed this color. So Sweden is the next one. So Norway, Finland in that, in the Nordic Sea, only Sweden is not a member. So what are the countries which are not the members now? Switzerland, Austria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Moldova, Belarus, Sweden. US and Canada are members. So very important question this year. And the opposite of this NATO that Russia has started and it has disintegrated is Warsaw Pact. Now what is this NATO? The NATO's general secretary today is Jeans Stoltenberg. He is the person. And Article 5 of NATO says, our collective defense clause, one for all and all for one, is the motto of NATO. So I have made a separate video if you are interested in knowing how exactly NATO has come as collective security, what is America's, uh, Russia's response. I have made a separate video under the name one for all and all for one. If you are interested, you can read it. So this is about the Black Sea. So these are the things guys, you have to remember Russia, Ukraine borders, Black Sea borders, Turkey borders, and then some cities of uh, Ukraine, and then uh, the NATO, Eurasian Economic Union, and then you have to remember something like uh, what is this Eurasian Economic Union and NATO members. These are very, very important. So I'll stop here today. Uh, tomorrow I'll continue with some Mediterranean Sea. Then we'll discuss like this one by one. But revise it, it is going to be helpful. Thank you, everyone.